Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what is a motion to suppress? The textbook answer is a motion to suppress is a written pleading, which is prepared, filed, calendared, noticed, and then litigated by a criminal defense lawyer, alleging that some item or items of evidence was illegally obtained through some form of police or governmental misconduct, usually either an unlawful search or seizure. But in simpler terms, a motion to suppress is a request by the defense that the court shit can some or all of the state's evidence in your case. Of course, in reality and practice, it's not quite that simple. First off, the government rarely, if ever, stipulates or agrees to a defense motion to suppress. In virtually every instance, a given prosecutor is going to fight tooth and nail in an all-out effort to keep their evidence in, arguing every which way that there was absolutely no illegal, inappropriate, or unconstitutional behavior by the government. And even if there was, then there's some independent basis for which the evidence can be admitted. Still, if a defendant has standing to ask, standing means that the defendant has the right to bring the matter to the court's attention. And if the defense lawyer has a good faith basis to allege a violation and seek suppression as a remedy, then a motion to suppress will be heard and adjudicated by the court. Motions to suppress are pretrial evidentiary hearings, which are decided by a judge after reviewing evidence and hearing argument from both sides. The defense starts the ball rolling by filing a physical motion and then presenting a prima facie case. If accomplished, then a presumption of illegality or impropriety arises, which, as I just mentioned, the state will employ every trick in the book as they effort at rebutting this presumption. In the end, after considering all things, the judge is going to either grant the motion and exclude the evidence or deny the motion, leaving the evidence presumptively admissible. The reason it's presumptive is that the state still has to jump through all of the necessary predicate hoops to get it into evidence during a subsequent trial. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. And I want you to remind you that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.